don't know whether I'm live. In fairness, it said I was live on the other two occasions as well. Apparently, people in the chat could see me. I couldn't see me. My screen was frozen. I couldn't type in the chat. Couldn't cope. Can't cope with life. Can't cope with life. But apparently, I'm live. I've got comments down the side here. Uh, okay, I can see some people. If any, if any of you are still in the chat for the other ones and they're still running, can you can you go over and and herd people over if that's possible? In the meantime, I <laughs> will take a deep breath. Calm the F down <laughs> and say my good mornings. Good morning to Andrew. Uh, sorry, Mandy, Michelle, Carrie, Andrew, Lil and Alf, Heather, Laurel, Jojo, Claire, Welsh Wonder, Nia, Jason Entwistle, Sean Gilbert, Lainey Ray, Lex, I love you too, Lex. And Heather again. <laughs> God, how stressed do I get about text up? I, I can't deal with it because it's Christine Davies, Claire, one, one Claire for the Claire count. Good morning, Claire. Um, Claire Riley, there's two Claire's for the Claire count and catch. Good morning, guys. I can't deal with techie because I don't know anything about it. And it's that it only works if it works. If it stops working, I can't cope. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you to those of you who have poor Molly's like, why so much stress in the room, mum? Thank you to those of you who have stayed with me for this and have been patient. You, you, you're going to jump up, aren't you? She's going to jump up. Oh, God, you're so heavy. Good morning, T. Suzanne Davies. Good morning, Claire Plant. I think we've got three Claire's in the Claire count currently. Yeah, Molly, I don't need my face washed. I'm really clean, honestly. I'm really clean. I love you. Okay, stop. Stop washing my face. Look, look, people can see you giving me ablutions. Good morning, Rebecca. Oh, oh. I love you. You're going to get down? No, please. Please get down. Good girl. Down you go. Good girl. Down you go. Mind your head. Okay. She's way too big for this shit now. <laughs> she's, a, she's a huge dog now. Um, Lex says there's currently four Claire's in the Claire count. Good morning, all the Claire's and all the everybody else's. And I'm sorry if I missed you. The um, comments on this side move up much, much quicker than they do when I'm watching on YouTube. So I'm, I'm trying not to miss everyone, but I may possibly. Good morning, Catherine. So if you were with me in the other two live streams, which may still be running. I may maybe concurrently running live on three different platforms at the moment. If you were with me, thank you for your patience. Look at her, she's taking a shred out of her arm. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for sticking with me. You were more patient than I was. You guys were all saying that you could see fine on, good morning, Frankie and Neville and Jojo. You were all saying that you could see fine on your end and it was moving fine. So you could probably see me getting stressed and going, ah, people were messaging me, say it was fine, but I couldn't do anything my end. Good morning, Anne and Joan and Steve again. <laughs> so yeah, it's over where you guys go, we can see yourself, but I can't see me. And that's weird. I suppose that must be what it's like if you're on actual television in a way, because you just, maybe you forget the cameras are there then, I don't know. Lex wants to know who's the most famous Claire. Claire Borden. Ian says, uh, my name's not Claire, can I join your stream anyway? Of course you can. And good morning, Peter Ray. Okay, so I've been to two car boot sales. Neither of them were um, were much, much to write home about. Josh was with me for both. He wasn't with me. We arrived simultaneously. Well, he arrived at Trench before me, and then we arrived almost simultaneously at the other one. And he ran around, snapped up all the bargains. So I'm not his friend anymore. Not his friend even a little bit. He was in the other chats, but he doesn't seem to have, doesn't seem to have popped up. But perhaps he's still sitting in the other one, which I'll come back. Or well, hoping I don't come back. Who knows? I don't think all Claire's are lesbians. I don't think so. Um, good morning, Mike. Um, oh, Mandy says, love the hall with Caroline. That was Caroline's hall. I just was like, yeah, we'll talk about your stuff on my channel. Um, there's a mark on my screen. Mildly more annoying. It's right on my chin, so it looks like I've got more spots than I've actually got. Yeah, your Josh is here. He says the planning on the second car boot was superb. Trying to get out was a joke. We sat in a in a spiral queue. I was like, was Nobody's organising anything. Hi, Fandria. We are back. Thank you for messaging me saying everything was fine. Your end, it just wasn't mine. Um, I don't. I, I if I think that's a super chat, but it, it shows up very differently on. Um, it shows up very differently on StreamYard. This is my first time live streaming through StreamYard. So I'm just showing that on the screen. Uh, it says $4.99 from Ruthie's 11.7 for a Pepsi Cherry non-reseller. Loving your blogs. Thank you very much. I, I believe that's a super chat. And, and, that, that, uh, so I, I, and I can click and show the comments on the screen. So thank you very much, Ruthie. That's really very generous of you. Thank you. Um, 
yeah, that, that's lovely of you. Thank you very much. Um, but they show up really differently. I'm still I'm still learning StreamYard. So um, Les Lex says she's a gay man trapped in a lesbian's body. <laughs> so um, so yeah. So thank you very much for the super chat. That's really very generous. I need a Pepsi Max after this morning's stress. I wish I drank. There are days when I think a gin in here would be lovely. Ah, oh, so yeah. So we did two car boots. Josh got a Le Creuset utensil pot from under my nose. I literally walked past it. I'm like, you can't come anymore. You can't come to the car boots. You're on my patch. And he was like, how am I on your patch? I live closer than you. I was like, because I'm bigger than you and scarier than you. That's how you're on my patch. That's how that works. <laughs> so I got um, this bundle of stuff that I'm just going to pull out first. It was all six pounds for the bundle. However, I broke one of the mugs getting out of the car. Talk about stress. Some of it was in a bag for life. I got the bag for life out of the car. We put it on the floor by the car. Uh, we opened the house. The idiot dogs came running out and the two boy, do boy dogs both cocked their leg on the bag for life full of stuff. They, they cocked their leg. They peed on my, on my stock, basically. They only peed on the outside of the bag, luckily. So I then stood there, transferred it all out. And while I was transferring it from the bag into the trolley, I smashed one of the mugs. So... George says I was too busy chatting, too busy chatting to spot the Le Creuset pot. That's right, yeah, well, you stole that from me. <laughs> and Lex and Josh are getting married, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, Josh, you can come Tuesday. Absolutely. Um, hi, Mick. I don't know if I've missed anyone, by the way. If I've missed you coming up the side chat, I'm sorry, it's not deliberate. I'm still learning StreamYard, and it's all a bit new to me. Hi, Zaheer. here. So, yeah, so I was like, I could not believe that the two dogs had cocked their leg on my sock. I was stood there in the street at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., screaming, what the hell do you think you're doing? Both the dogs are like, oh, oh, dear. Oh, we seem to be in trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, a, 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 yeah, idiot Josh boy, never allowed anywhere near me again. Not your friend anymore, Josh, not your friend. Okay. I think I found my bundle of stuff that was six pounds. So this is for Steve the car boot guy. Six is six is pushing it a bit for me for him, but it was very quiet there. So I took pity on the fact that he was obviously not going to make his millions today. And for my six pounds, I got two of these, but I've broken one getting it into the house. So these are Vera Wang for Wedgwood mugs. I have no idea when there's any value in them, but there's certainly no value in the one that's now in my recycling box. So there was two of those, and then I got two Starbucks mugs. This one is a 2012 special limited edition. That goes for about 15-ish quid. This one I haven't looked up yet. So the colours don't seem to be very accurate on stream mirrors. I'm not that yellow, and this mug is more red than orange. I'm not a Simpson. Auntie Susan. Hi, Auntie Sue. Hi, Antoinette Daly. Um, I don't think I've missed anyone else, have I? Never says I bought a new quilt yesterday and a seagull dropped a bundle on the plastic pack. At least that's washable. I must admit, I was when I saw them cocking their leg on my on my thing, I was like, are they peeing in the bag? But they weren't, it was only on the outside of the bag. Yes, Josh, of course you can get a lift. Yeah, no problem. I'm not suggesting we take two cars, that would be ridiculous. But yeah, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Uh, Sammy Fizzy's in, Patricia Mum of Five Sons is in, and Maria Clark's in. Hi everybody. Oh, I could change my name back from Stress Head, but I don't know how. <laughs> I think it just has a display of stress head until next time I come in. <laughs> so also in my six pound, I got this, which is a little sandcastle um, cake mould. You remember last week in the big bundle, I got a massive sandcastle cake mould. So when I saw this, I thought I'd get this and I'll I'll, I'll add it onto the listing and, and, and sell them as a pair. So um, and then also in there were these. These are just babyliss. Where's my camera? There's my camera. I can't get the light right though, can I? Where the hell's the camera? Sorry about the light, people. Don't walk towards it. <laughs> um, they're Babyliss energy repl replacement energy cells, and they're still they good for about seven quid. Andrew says, does everyone on stream look like they've got jaundice? People are calling an ambulance for me. I do look jaundice. I look like my kidneys have failed. I don't know what to do about it. Um, oh, Cheryl says, baby girl falls asleep at YouTube lives. Great, I'm boring people to sleep. <laughs> Lex is going, your other left. That's because the camera's over there. And it's over there. It's proper. It's back to front. It's proper odd. Proper weird. Josh, there's only £10 for the Le Creuset pot, so don't be too mad at me. Stick it on a 15, mate. 
push the prices up. Did I say hello, Auntie Sue? If not, Auntie Sue, hello. Andrew's saying don't touch anything in case I break it. <laughs> also in my six pound bundle, one of these, which is a shade maker, um, additional push chair, sun canopy. And I sold one of these a couple of weeks ago, so I know that I'll be able to sell it again and it'll be a quick and easy relist. It wasn't a huge amount. I think it went for 12 95 or something like that, but very quick and simple relist, so. And then this, which I grabbed, I have no idea when I picked it up whether it was going to be worth anything. I've still not really. I've had a quick look and there isn't anything on YouTube, which kind of means that I can make up a price. It was brand new and folded up in the packet, but I've unfolded it to show it to you. It is a Rolls Royce. There's the Rolls Royce logo. 25 year anniversary neck scarf. People collect weird stuff, don't they? Let's hope they collect this weird stuff. Caroline, Mrs. M, does brilliantly with weird stuff like this. Brilliantly. Josh says we were spoiled for choice. We had a whopping 30 cars to pick from. It was um, it was lean times this morning, and that was at two car boots. Lean times. So, yeah, so I, I don't know. It's Rolls Royce. It was in with a bundle. I don't know. Oh, Heather says she's got one in her collection. Do you want to collect this one? <laughs> I don't know. But it was a cool thing. It was a cool thing that I bought. So I have started YouTube three times today. The first two have failed and I've got to go and delete and remove them, annihilate them, blow them out of the water. I don't know what I've got to do. After I finish here, I've got to go and kill them. I hope there's nobody sitting there wondering why I'm so quiet. <laughs> unlike me. Very unlike me to be quiet. I got three... Um, books for a pound, so I got two slimming, oh that's got a sticky stick on it, two slimming world books, um, a little book of barbecue and light bites that slim and satisfy, where is the camera? Light bites that slim and satisfy. Um, and because it was three for a pound I also chucked in the Weight Watchers Shop and Cook. There's the camera. So three for a quid, not a huge amount of money there, but in three, uh, three for a quid they're always worth grabbing. He's like, please let somebody sit in there watching the silence. <laughs> Geomag for a pound. It's, it's only Geomag panels. Geomag panels is not the most um, exciting one to pick up. And I don't know if it's all there. In fact, it looks like most of it isn't there. But it was a quid. And I usually sell Geomag in bundles when I get other stuff. So there should be 32 pieces. Shall we count together, children? There's this many pieces which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balls, eight balls, eight balls, two panels, and one, two, three, four, five. Is somebody counting? Eight balls, two panels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rods. That's 25 pieces already then. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There's 34 pieces. That's not bad. Out of 32 pieces left. Four Claire's in the Claire count. Yeah, so there's 34 pieces out of that 32 piece set present. So that's not bad. That's a win at life, isn't it? <laughs> For a quid. Apparently, Josh and uh, Josh and Lex are off to, uh, off to Vegas to get married. Am I coming? I probably can't go to Vegas. It's probably not a good idea. And then from the first car boot, I got a stack of books, which I paid a fiver for all in. And some of them are better than others. That one's a bit wrinkly. Bear with me, I'm still digging. I'll be back, as the Terminator said. So, oh God, trolley, don't fall over. Even the trolley's against me. So for five pounds, I got... Bear with, bear with, talk amongst yourselves. Don't leave, it was hard enough getting you all here in the first place. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. For five pounds, I got. She wanted 50p for paperbacks or a pound for hardbacks, and I gave her a fiver for the lot. So there's. Where the hell's the camera? <laughs> 13 of those. Rolled dolls, all in really nice condition. 
Um, and then I got, in addition to those 13, there's a Disney Once Upon a Dream, Twisted Tale, two paperback unfortunate events. Don't often see the paperback ones. I don't know if I want them, but okay. A Harry Potter and a David Williams. So a total of 18 books for a fiver. Bear in mind that she wanted 50p each. 18 would have been nine quid. So I'm quite pleased with those four the five pounds. The bundle of well, dolls will bring me in 15 plus. So that'll be my fiver back and everything else is, is free, isn't it? Josh says the older couple with the knitting stuff and bags of sweets are so sweet, but I never see anyone buying from this. Still turn up every. They are a lovely couple. Natalie knows them from where she used to work, and I always stop and and chat and say hello. But yeah, nobody seems to um, nobody seems to buy a lot. I don't know if I can. Oh, there's a sharper focus. Hasn't done much to the to the colour tone, but I'm not quite so blurred. But yeah, they are lovely. <laughs> um, Cheryl, 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 not Cheryl. Cheryl says. Mum's listening says I'm quite good. Hi, Cheryl's mum. <laughs> I'm going to get Elvis to marry. I've no idea what's going on. The chat's gone all bonkers. Hi, Sue Erin. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've missed anyone coming in. It wasn't deliberate. Oh, yes, yeah, so it has changed the colour. My liver's better. There you go. I've, 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 I'm no longer, um, I'm no longer jaundiced. <laughs> all I did was change the focus on the camera. Isn't that odd? I've got a bit yellow again. I give up. I give up. This is how I look. This is how I look. It'll have to do. If it won't do, it won't do. If you don't like it, go and watch one of the other two streams in which I'm not moving and not speaking. <laughs> I also got these Fred Perry shoes. I don't know if they're real. My liver's improved and my heart's failing. That's so true. <laughs> pair of Fred Perry shoes. These were three pounds. And I was looking at them trying to decide whether they were real and not being sure whether anybody does anybody fake fred perry's they look real the way that the label is stitched in looks real the insides look okay i think they i think they probably are genuine um i look a bit blue now <laughs> i'm blue la da -dee, da -da 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 -dee, da da blue da -da -dee. but they're in pretty good condition generally they need a bit of a clean up along the sole there and i don't know if they're worth anything but it was like 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 josh and i have said it was such slim pickings this morning it was like buy something buy anything size what the fred perry shoes are in 11 lex you're not on a size 11 foot i know you think you've got big feet mate but you're not on 11. can i sing venga boys Ah, oh, we're going to ibiza whoa coconut airways or is that that's not the barbados bit that was the venga boys wasn't it any other requests Ian says I look great and he hopes I, I hope I look that good when I get to 30 ish. I'm very ish. I am very, very ish if we're starting at 30. Natalie says I'm late 20s. I'm very, very late 20s. You have not got size 11 feet, Lex. You have not. This is the last item. So if, you, if you're only here for the haul, you'll be able to run away now and not listen to my rabble anymore. It's a sea salt skirt. It was £1.50. Um, I bought it from a lady with the most gorgeous dog in the car. She had. Um, I don't even know what breed it was, but it was blue merle colouring and he had one brown eye and one blue eye. And he looked like greyhound-ish, but he was a bit broader than a greyhound. But that kind of style of dog, he was beautiful. He was called Merlin and he was very cuddly and loving. And, and to be honest, I would have bought everything from his mother's store just to stand there and chat to him a bit longer. And the moment I stopped talking to him, he stole her coffee. <laughs> when, she was when she was distracted selling me the skirt, he stuck his head in her coffee and stole her coffee. As I walked away. I don't know if it was a lurcher. Can you get smooth hair lurcher? I thought lurchers were rough hair, like Jasper. Laney's got a lurcher called Jasper, hasn't haven't you, Laney? Anyway, he was a smooth, it was a smooth coat. It was beautiful. But yeah, so he's he's tanked up on coffee now. As I walked away, all I could hear was say, all I could hear was say, for God's sake, Merlin, that was all the coffee I had. And he was like <laughs> smooth skin, smooth foot foot coat lurcher, maybe, yeah. Hi, DBG. Cheryl's off to mum's for the day to get some sleep. Lovely. Catch up on all that sleep, Cheryl. Um, Sue says she's late 20s times two. <laughs> right. So, yeah, um, this is sea salt. It's a sea salt skirt. I don't know which one it is. As we, as Caroline and I were saying when we live streamed Caroline's haul the other day, when I basically stole her haul from my channel, all sea salt stuff has the name of the item on the label. So this is a St. Burian. I don't know if that's going to focus. 
I don't even know if I can get the light right. Anyway, it's a St. Burian. I can't find the bloody camera, saw it. It's a St. Burian skirt. So I don't know what the money is, but there's more than £1.50 in it because it's sea salt. And the sea salt is always nice. And that is the whole haul and all of the haul. The haul, the whole haul and all of the haul. Hi, Adele. So, um, so yeah, I'm basically going to sit here and take song requests now. That's all, that's all I've got left in my repertoire because I've shown you what I bought. I didn't buy anything exciting. I spent 20 quid. Well, should we do a tot up and see what I can get for it? Fred Perry shoes. What do we think? I have no idea what I can get for the Fred Perry shoes. Anybody have a think? Anybody have any idea on those? No Harry Potter DVDs. No, Mandy says show it all again. No comforters. Josh got a comforter. I'm not saying Josh can't come again because he steals stuff. Josh says we need a You're on a Bloody Field song. We so do. I don't know that one, Steve. $22.99, Mandy says. Okay, so let's call that 23 quid on them then. Um, easily 15 quid on the Slimming World book. So that's 38. 10 quid on the Geomag. That's 48. 15 quid on the Roald Dahl box at minimum. So that's 58.63. If we set a conservative 50p each on the other books because they'll go into bums and they'll be worth more than that, that's 50. Call that 56 for sake of argument. I don't know about my scarf. Call that 11 million. So that's 11 million and 56 pounds. That's another 13. So that's 11 million. And I know I went past 56. I don't know. 100 quid? 20 quid? 20 quid into 4,000, I think we've done today. About that. 15, 30, 40. 60, 70. There's at least 200 quid here for my 20, so that's fine. Josh has only got four things. He doesn't open his mind. He needs to open his mind. Jesse, the reseller, is in and says, Hello, I well, just got back. Really tempted to try Trench Lane next week so I get back in time for Carla's dreams. If you find me at the Trench Lane, you can also be in the vlog. I mean, there's no end to the glamour. No end. Lex says £179.36, which sounds very accurate. Steve says, oh, hi, Kelly. Steve says, something from your gen, Elvis, wonder of you. Thank you, Steve. Elvis was dead before I was born, I think. When did Elvis die? 78? I was five. I don't know. Um, so small haul, small haul, Kelly, today. Small car boots, small pickings. Um, it's the wonder, the wonder of you. There you go. Next request. <laughs> what was StreamYard doing or not doing? We should not blame StreamYard, Sue, because StreamYard has been absolutely tickety-boo. What we should do is we should blame YouTube direct from the YouTube um, upload video page, streaming from your webcam, not playing, not playing at all. Didn't like it, wouldn't have it. So, um, so yeah, we're not blaming StreamYard. I came, when I eventually came on StreamYard, StreamYard's been a beaut, absolute beaut. Uh, Heather says she'd try for 50 on the scarf, so that's what I'll do. I believe in Heather. Laney says he died in 1977, so I was four. Uh, Lex, is any sax this week? Yes, I had sax on Tuesday. Ali and I sat and went through the sax on Tuesday. And then yesterday I was given from a friend another six sax. So it's been a very sacky week. I'm all sacked out. And Steve would like a blast of Wonderwall. Wonder Wonderwall? Wonderwall! The German, the Deutsche version of Wonderwall. <laughs> um, Wonderwall. I can't remember how it starts. Why, why can't I remember how Wonderwall starts? Oh my God. Somebody give me the first line of Wonderwall. Have I seen the rain? There's no rain here yet, Josh. You can keep it, mate. You keep it. We don't, we don't want it. Ian says we were born the same year. I was born in 73, Ian. Yeah, so that sounds about right. Clifton was tiny. The carpet said Clifton was tiny. Steve was born in 1985 because he's a child. Ali does hate you, and it is because she wants you so bad. That's exactly why. People are now saying when they were. And through it. Oh, that's Robbie Williams. She offers me perfection. A lot of love and affection. Whether I'm right or wrong. That's Robbie Wall. That's Robbie Wall? Oh, God. That's Robbie Williams. You're my wonder world. Oh, God. My brain is not playing nicely. My brain is just not playing nicely at all today. So, yeah, log into StreamYard, so and start from there. Don't I, I, they, they go in, in from YouTube. Didn't work for me at all. It didn't like it. 
Josh was born in 1999. He says he's sorry to make you all feel old. You are a child. 1979, tell me why I don't like Mondays was number one. Is it, what was that when you were born? Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why. Oh, here comes the rain. Josh, you've sent us the rain. Oh, my God. There's a lot of it. Here comes the... Oh, name this song. Here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like a new emotion. Here it comes again. Here it comes again, again. Anyone? Anyone name that tune? One Carla point if you name that tune. Even the way I sang it. I want to walk in the open I want to kiss like lovers do. Want to fall into your... Want to fall into your ocean? Is it raining with you? So, baby, talk to me. Is the Eurythmics. Like, like, it's, it's probably not the Eurythmics where I sell it, sell, sing it, but originally it was the Eurythmics. Yeah, Eurythmics, here comes the rain again. It is chucking it down. Why does it always rain on me? Is it because I lied when I was 17 and 16 and 15 and probably started lying at 14 and I was probably a bit of a fibber at 13 and I wasn't that honest at 12? Sorry, I got I went off somewhere into, <laughs> into a reverie. <laughs> Lex says, both my parents fancied Annie Lennox. I wanted to be Annie Lennox. Now I want to be pink, but oh my God, I wanted to be Annie Lennox. I had the hair. Do you remember when she had the bleach blonde crew cut? And with the tiny flap that I had that I oh god I wanted to be Annie Lennox so bad sweet dreams are not made of cheese <laughs> Sue says that's so good I'm going to get hit for copyright I don't think so I don't think it sounded that familiar <laughs> Travis why does it always rain on me yeah why does it always rain on me Lex wants to wants to be Bjork or Alison Goldfrapp Everyone fancied any Lennox, yeah. <laughs> Steve's, Steve's daughter Lacey just asked what that noise is, and he's gone, it's just Carla Lace. Hi, Lacey. Sorry about the singing. <laughs> oh, Fandry had a blonde flat top with a plait down the back, like a rat's tail. Oh, they were so, they were such the in thing. When we were at school, one of the, um, one of the, bigger boys who sat in the back row reached forward and cut the rat's tail off the girl who sat in front of him. Yeah, yeah, with his. Oh my god, the, the, the world ended. The world ended. Mandy says three sales while I've been live. Nice one, Carla. You're very welcome. Where's mine? Peter Ray fancied Kate Bush. I don't I can't sing Kate Bush. No, I definitely can't sing Kate Bush. Everybody's now talking about <laughs> Ian says I'd lose a lung, a kidney, and my gallbladder to be with pink. Why would she want you when you were such an, a wreck of a human because you'd lost all your innards? She'd be like, You're no good. You can't breathe. You can't piddle. And I don't know what your gallbladder does, but you can't do that either. <laughs> do Alison Moyer? I don't think I can. Give me a give me a well known Alison Moyer song. I'm, I'm sure I know the songs, but but you know, I wasn't a sorry, I wasn't an Alison Moyer fan. Not not consciously i was a massive aha fan i they like the arrhythmics but i also really liked aha lex says she's had pink and she's rubbish <laughs> yeah huge aha fan and to pow oh god i love to pow and i saw them live hits me okay if you come on Whoa. oh i've got singing face on as well let me into your window <laughs> Oh, you're wet. Molly's been in the garden in the rain. <laughs> are you a soggy bull? Soggy doggy, are you? Soggy girl. Why are you going in the garden in the rain? Why do you do this? What are you after? There's nothing here for you. Silly girl. Silly soggy girl. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, no, you are coming up? You're coming up? You are coming up. Oh, God, she's coming up. <sighs> Darling, you're very wet. Okay, I'm glad you don't mind. <sighs> Okay, look, we're talking to the people. There's the people in the, in the box. Ooh. Oh, my God. Nia said she's going to see Aha in November. I didn't realise they were still touring. Oh, my God. Didn't realise they were still touring. We're running up that hill. We're running up that hill. Something like that, yeah. Steve says, I know someone who slept with a Rihanna trip. I saw that in your vlog, mate, yeah. 
No, he says I met I met E seventeen down the beach years ago. Was this before or after he ran over his own leg? <laughs> and people are now just talking about who they had their first crush on. I don't think I can do only you by Alison Moyer because I don't know how it sounds. The only only you I know is only you can make my heart feel blue. Only you can make the sky do something. I'm dying. And if you had... Help me. Send help. <laughs> I'm live on the internet while you're murdering me. People can see you doing this. Oh, I love you. You have to get down. You have to get down. Oh my God. Ow. Holes in my arm. There's a lick in my mouth. Oh God. And you lot just sat there and let that happen. You know what they say about people who witness a vicious assault and don't do anything. Walk on by. Walk on by. Steve says, can Molly sing? Probably better than me. <laughs> Lex, Vandra, <laughs> I don't know, it just went off the screen. Where is it? Where did it go? Somebody said, Lex says, I know someone who slept with, a, with an At The Steve Green Adventure tribute act. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, dear. All I needed was the love you gave. All I needed from another day. And all I ever knew. Only you. Is that the, is that Alison Moye? And all I ever knew. Only you. Is it? Is it? I've got, oh, I've got shredded arms now from that dog. Yeah, so thank you for all just watching my demise and not rushing to save me. Some of you even know where I live. Rose, uh, so Joan says, Roger Glover from Deep Purple asked me and my mate back to the hotel. Packet, sorry. Back in 1969, I was sweet 16. Oh, God, sorry, I've got hiccups now. Ian says, I love the cause. They could read me the phone book and I'd listen. Weakness for an Irish voice. We'll put you on to DBG. She'll read, she'll read bits to you down the phone. Morning, Mrs. Carroll. Oh, dear. Lex says, I used to, I used to know a guy who'd given head to three quarters of blue. Which one, did, which one got away? <laughs> Mandy says, I just love the way you burst into song. I do it too, but my voice is effing awful. So is mine. You should hear Natalie. I start singing Natalie like, Mum, don't do it. Mum, Mum, stop. Mum, don't sing. <laughs> uh, and Al Isaac says, our one dog, Tolly, has the nickname Edward Scissorhands. Any affection from him land you in A&E? Tell me about it. I'm shredded. Bless her. She loves me far too much. <laughs> Peter A says this is just stars in their eyes and Sue's giving me the Sue Erin's giving me the gold butt and I think I get the big fart noise, don't I? Isn't there a big fart noise? He never told you which one which one got away. Oh dear. Well, that was um I don't know what was worse, the singing or the being murdered by the dog and nobody caring. But I'm now picking literally bits of skin off my arm. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so I've cheered up somewhat. From the beginning of my live streams uh, this morning. Uh, yeah, uh, DBD says, Ian, you need to join Instagram. You can hear her swear and everything. Actually, mostly swear. She does swear. But yeah, but yeah, you can hear her Irish voice on Instagram all the time. Peter A says, isn't one of blue gay or something? I think well, we just discovered that three of them are a bit that way. In fairness, you do you. You do whoever you want, but. Ruthie's 11.7 says, I've got to go out for lunch with daughter and her boyfriend at the Watchman. Peter, you know that pub. Have a lovely day, everyone. Apparently, Ruthie's in Peter's neck of the woods having lunch. Um, Kelly's cleaning Smurfs, as you do. Sue's offering to slap Lex's bottom, which um, Lex will very much like, I have to say. Lex will not have a problem with that. <laughs> Lainey Ray says, my dad says to me, you love it. your voice is lovely, but can you save it for later? The kids say to me, who sings this song? And I tell them, and they say, well, let's leave it that way, shall we? Your kids are brilliant. Who sings that? So and so. Yeah, let's leave it that way. <laughs> that was excellent. I love that. Steve says, it's not gay if the guy is sucking you off, apparently. That's one of life's big lies, Steve. What's the other one? Um, oh, it's not cheating if you don't put it in or something like that. Yeah. Some, something along those lines. Can't remember the exact words. Um. 
Peter's through. No, I thought, I thought Peter was off to join Ruthie for lunch then, but no, apparently not. And Ian's up. Ian, what, what have I missed there? I don't know what I missed something. Lex is offering Sue only one slap, apparently. <laughs> so, so the verdict is that StreamYard works a lot. I've got, I've got dog lick on my glasses. StreamYard works a lot better than YouTube, or at least today. I don't know whether that's going to be an ongoing YouTube issue or whether YouTube's just got his head up his ass with me today. But I'm going to have to go back and find those other streams and delete them, aren't I? Because they're just me swearing and getting stressed. Andrea says, my husband eyebrows just went over his head as he came in and I was talking about blowjobs. It's, um, it's not suitable for church, my Sunday morning show. It always seems to go this way. I start off being very clean and well behaved. And it always seems to go downhill. And I very much blame the chat because I've just been sitting here having karaoke morning. And the chat are pure filth. Pure filth, you lot in there. So, car boot done. Anthony and I are going to go to the office in a bit because he's going to put a, a, a hook for me. For um, What's going on? There's a gap there. Um, he's going to put up a hook for me for hanging stuff. Obviously, because that's what you use hooks for. <laughs> Never saw that coming, did you? For hanging stuff for photos, because at the moment I don't have anywhere to hang. So anything that doesn't fit on the mannequin has to be flat laid and not everything looks good flat laid. So he's going to put a hook. That's a long, boring story. And I've got an awful lot of other stuff to get into the office. So I need an extra pair of hands for the hefting up the stairs, Nuss. If Andrea's thought that we thought the, blow, the husband's thought the blowjobs were on offer. Mandy's had her fourth sale while I've been live. Mandy, that's enough for you. Anne says it's Lex's fault. Lex says it isn't. The, the filth in the chat. Mandy says she's off to a christening today. My heard I over hell, religion and screaming kids help me. Don't go. Be ill. Neville's off. Bye, Neville. Oh, I can't even wave because the camera's in the wrong place. Bye, Neville. <laughs> oh, Claire James is in. Morning, hunt, so I'm late. I think, Clay, I think you are number five of this morning's Claire count, and you are very late, I'm afraid. You, 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 I'll, I'll give you lines to do. Write out a hundred times, I must not be late for the Claire count. I must not be late for the Claire register on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Claire count currently stands at five. So yeah, odd, odd little assortment of stuff, but not bad, bearing in mind how poor the turnout of the car boots was. I don't think I said this in the beginning, but the first car boot, which is the big one in the field, and that's usually five or six very full rows, was one and a tiny bit rows. So that was um, that was not good. And the other one, which is normally the indoor one, was outdoor today because they've got a big event on a big mini convention. There were thousands of really old minis there. And so they were doing it in the field, and theirs was just one row. So, so yes, disappointing turnout on the car booty nusses. But still not a bad haul, really. I said if we, if we decided that 20 quid was going to turn into a nice little 200, which I think is a fairly safe estimate, not a bad haul for popping out. And I didn't need the stock. I didn't need it. Really didn't. Mandy says she loves me. Um, stop stealing all the sales if you love me. I, have you noticed that I haven't had a ka-ching? I also don't seem to have a phone anymore. There is. I had a ka-ching. This is my live stream and I'm entitled to all the ka-chings. So he says, ban Mandy. <gasps> I've got an offer though. Hang on. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. I must have had a ka-ching that I didn't notice, presumably when I was in stress mode. Okay, now this is these Vivo barefoot sandals. If you're in the chat and this is you who sent me this offer, own up quick because I'm going to ask the chat's advice and you can't advise me on some of you. I can't remember what I paid, not very much. It was a few weeks ago. I listened at £42 of an offer of £25, but it will be my first sale of the day. If you were me, would you take it or would you counter? 42 offer of 25 is a low offer, but it would still be a decent sale. Hmm. Vote now in the chat. Vote now. Come on, vote quickly in the chat. Mandy says she'd counter. She'd counter with 35. Any other thoughts? I've hit the review offer button. I'm going to have to do something. Something has to happen. Is it? Is it just Mandy? Mandy's advice? Just Mandy? Yeah, Mandy? Peter Ray says counter. Fandry says counter at 34. Josh says he thinks I paid £3 and he might be right. And he says he'd get them gone. And we'll counter, counter 30, counter 30, counter, go for 30. I'm going to counter at 30. If it declines, I'm going to come and hunt you all down and blame you one by one. Apart, apart from Linda, who said 35, and Mandy, who said 35. And Josh, who said, take the money and run. I'm not going to come and hunt you down because this wasn't your advice. But everybody else, I'll come and find you and sing at you. 
let me enter your window. Woo Lex is telling people she's got a photo of me naked with champagne on my ass. Not a true thing, by the way. <laughs> Not a true thing. <laughs> I've counted. I've counted. Mandy says I'm letting her down. I've counted, Mandy. Just not quite as high as you said. I would be very happy with 30. If I'd be fairly happy with 25. But I'd be very happy with 30. Andrew says we'll all give you a pound each and share whatever it is. It's a pair of barefoot weird trainery thing, chew things. You can't share them unless you're going to have them for a week each and wear them and pass them on. <laughs> Lex, you have not got a photo of me naked with champagne on my ass and you cannot sell them for a fiver. <laughs> Right, now I'm starting to think you people are in the chat because they've now counted at lower than their original offer. Is one of you out? Is it one of you out there? It is one of you watching, isn't it? If you are the person watching who sent me an offer for 25 and when I counted at 30, came back at 22, you know, well, you're just now getting a decline, aren't you? So, so that didn't... Um, yeah, I'd rather not sell them at all now. Yeah. Get me out of my ass. Me, 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 me. Um, Kelly's cleaned seven Smurfs. Have you not got a dishwasher, Kelly? Stick him in the dishwasher, mate. Uh, Mandy says he's a div. Lex says she's got a life-size cardboard cut out of Josh's bits. Nothing would surprise me. Yeah. Steve says, well, it's somebody's ass. It's not mine, mate. There's not a camera in existence that can get a picture of my ass. My ass is far too wide. I'm wider than the widest lens. Sorry. Sidetracked. Look at my phone. Bear with me. Bear with. 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 Such fun. Okay. Jesse says, dishwasher, we have a washing up bowl. You can also put them in the washing machine, Kelly, on a very, very low temperature wash in a bag. Kelly says she don't think Barry will be into that. What, putting the Smurfs in the dishwasher? Why would Barry mind? Puzzled. Puzzled of Bristol. Unless, unless you misread what was going in the dishwasher. don't know this has been a very odd stream hasn't it from the original yeah no i realize you didn't mean me <laughs> oh he's the dishwasher i see okay <laughs> bye mrs carol um yeah it's gone very strange hasn't it from from the original stress of not being able to go live at all to the small and weird hall to the singing and now into whether whether a founder thinks i'm an arse or not yeah josh's got a sale what did you sell josh Maybe I should stay live until everyone in the chat has had a sale. I wonder how long that would take. I don't know how many of you are out there. It says there's 74 people watching. I don't know how many people are out there. And of course, I can't see whether anybody's hit the like button yet because I'm on StreamYard and not on YouTube. So if you haven't hit the like button and you like it, hit the like button. There's a good lad, person, girl. Also, what happens if you guys are watching on, on YouTube? I can't see my mods and I can't see anybody any any modding happening can you guys still see that your end is that if you are if you're a mod on my channel can you tell me if everything just looks normal for you when i come in through Streamyard? does it all occur usually for you and you can and you can mod and see what's happening as normal am i just not seeing the trolls or are there not any trolls out there today they'll get them running but they'll all come running in now yeah heather says we can see mods i can't see mods my end sue says you had one like so i licked it i only had one like Maybe I've got thousands of likes on the other ones where I'm not talking. <laughs> Maybe that's what people want. <laughs> yeah, Josh has no trolls today. Perhaps they're all on the other stream, trolling away. You can imagine all the little trolls sitting there calling me fat and obese and saying that they'd like to do terrible things to my mother and whatever it is that trolls say. And nobody had, nobody's actually there. They're just talking to themselves. I think that's the ideal plan for trolls. Steve's now talking about breasts and saying, come at me, mods. You're not a mod, Steve. The other thing is that from here, I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't make mods from StreamYard either. So that's um, that's another learning curve. I've got a thing that makes me into two people, but I'm only one person, so that won't work. 
I'm pressing buttons. I don't know if you guys are seeing anything different you're in, but I'm pressing buttons like mad to see if anything happens. Nothing seems to be happening. I've got a mute. Um, I've got share screens, so then if I was watching pornography, I could show you that, but I'm not, so that's okay. Jesse says, I've got 23 likes now. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> um, I don't know if somebody's just booted Steve. Maybe, some, maybe somebody's just booted Steve out because Lex is laughing and saying, ha-ha, the power. Antoinette has just sold four rolls of flowery wallpaper that's been in the attic since 1992 to a film company they want to wall put and then she ran out of run out of letters so they want to wallpaper something or other I think I should be on commission I think for every sale you get whilst watching my live stream you should have to send me a small percentage via super chat because I did that for you I had nothing to do with it it was not me it was not me. Only Mandy. Mandy should have to send me percentages because she sold 82 things since I went live. 82. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, she's timed Steve out. <laughs> Lex has timed Steve out because she's got the power. I got the power. Snap. That was who that was. Has he still not put the sign up that I sent him? Look at my shocked, oh, my, my shocked face makes me, makes me like a blow-up doll. Maybe I won't do that too often. Anne Isaac says, I cannot sell two 1960s rolls of equestrian warfare. I think I'm going to double the price. That'll do it. Thailand Heron has sold some shorts for $12.99. Now, my 1% commission fee on that means you have to send 12.9 um, pence to me by Super Chat. <laughs> DME says, can you add affiliate links to everyone's shop? I'd love to. Wouldn't that be great? Every time anyone sold anything... I got a small commission, whether whether I was live at the time or not. Just any time any of you had a sale. <laughs> oh, dear. My nose is a fun. I've got a red mark on my nose when Molly scraped my glasses down it, I think. Oh, Jessie's got the rain now. Yeah, it's moved on from us. Josh sent it over, so I sent it further on. But yeah, I wonder if I could find out a way to add affiliate links to everybody's eBay. Everybody's eBay. I'm annoyed about this coat, by the way. I bought this a couple of weeks ago at the car boot. I thought it had a grubby sleeve, so I washed it. Turns out it hasn't got a grubby sleeve. It's got a faded marks all down the sleeve, and it would have been a nice little sale, that. So that's disappointing. Realize you can't, can you see any of that? Yeah, you can. There you go. Where's the bloody camera? There it is. Mandy says it won't let me send it. What are you trying to send, Mandy? Fix it. Oh, I don't know, what, I don't know what's happening. I'm in StreamYard. I can't see anything. What's happening, Mandy's end? Are you trying to send a link to pornography or something? I can't fix that. I can't deal with that for you. Lex has got plenty of pornography anyway. We don't need to send her anymore. <laughs> yeah, Lex has got all the pornography she needs. It won't let you send 12p. Maybe there's a minimum. <laughs> In that case, ha ha. You have to send me millions pounds. Millions. I've got a massage. That's... um. Yeah, that's Steve reacting to being frozen out. <laughs> um, Lil Nas says, I found a Miss Piggy plush at the charity shop yesterday. What's the best way to clean it? If it's only a little bit of surface muck, then you can do it with wet wipes. If it's proper ming, then I chuck them all in the machine and they nearly all come out absolutely perfect. I don't think I've probably had maybe one in all the years that hasn't come out in immaculate condition. So, yeah, chuck it in the washing machine. If you're if it's if you think it is a bit delicate, then stick it in with a couple of towels to protect it a bit. Peter Ray's off to go and clean his stock and get listing off. You go then, Peter. Good chop chop. Go work 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 work. Chop chop. Busy busy work work. Bang bang. Um, yeah, if things a bit delicate, stick it in with a couple of towels. Check whether it's got things like you know sometimes these plush toys have like cardboard feet or whatever. So check or if, it, if it's got a peaked cap, it might have cardboard in the peak or whatever. So check things check for things like that first. But. But yeah, if it's proper grubby, then I bung it in the washing machine. There, she's going in the washing machine. My little Monchichi, Monchichi rabbit from last week. She's going in the washing machine. She hasn't gone yet because she's still sitting on the desk. But yeah, she's going to be, she's going through the washing machine because she's Ming. Part of her is like, she's vintage Ming. People, maybe people would like the vintage Ming, but I don't like the vintage Ming, so she's going in the wash. Yeah, if it's got the tags on, then wet, wipe. wet wipes will do the surface quite nicely. Sue's off to the next booty. Good luck, Sue. Happy hunting. Love you too, babe. Lex says, I'm delicate. Would you shove me in with a towel? I shove you with two towels, Lex. Two. Two towels. Lex says, genuinely, I've only got like three bits of porn. <laughs> Ian wants to know if she's in all three. <laughs> I 
Lex says she wouldn't do that kind of thing, which is not true. She tells lies. She tells lies. And Josh says he loves a bit of Ming, which we already knew, Josh. You look like pure filth. <laughs> Starring and directing in it, yeah. Well, this has been 50 minutes. When you add this on to the 30 minutes of messing about on the other two, it's probably time I said goodbye and let you good people get on with your ordinary lives. No, no God, that's how I don't mean you've got very, very ordinary lives. I mean, I mean, rather get on with ordinary day to day living rather than this bullshit is what I meant. So Owen says, down with that sort of thing. <laughs> and Lex says, no, don't go. Well, you were supposed to be here, Lex. So I'm going to sulk about the fact that you're not here. Oh, Mandy's super chat has come through. Mandy sent five pounds super chat and it says five percent commission. Bless you, Mandy. You didn't really have to. I genuinely thought you were trying to send Lex some porn. <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat, Mandy. And thank you to Ruthie for the one earlier on. You're both lovely, lovely people. And Hendry says, get on with the rest of their lives. That's what I mean. Not get on with your ordinary lives. And Hendry's, uh, Hendry, have you just come in at the end again? I don't think I saw you earlier. Little Mouse offering to wet wipe Lex down. It's very nice, very kind of her. <laughs> it's gone a bit gone a bit weird in the chat. Lex has just seen me Tuesday because she's trying to pretend that she still loves me, but this is why Ali hates you. I look like the poster. Oh, Steve can talk again. He's saying goodbye. Oh, Adendri said hello to all about half I'm sorry, Adendri. I didn't see you. Hi, Adendri. Nice to see you. The StreamYard chat moves slightly differently to the YouTube chat, and I'm not quite not quite getting it. And Mandy's just had another sale, but I'm not getting any more commission. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, your country needs you. Behave, Steve, because I, can, I, I, can, I can't kick anyone from here either. Oh. But I can, however, show the world what you said, you rude man. There we go. But yeah, I can't kick people. Oh, the monocle wants Josh to go live. And I, hello, the monocle. I don't know who you are, monocle, but hello. I feel like I've not seen the monocle's name before. I like this being able to show people's show people's comments. So if I go back up, look, I can find. There we go. That was the super chat from Mandy. Thank you very much, Mandy, for the five pound super chat, which is five pound commission on all the massive sales that she's had while I've been live. <laughs> She sold fourteen thousand pounds of the stuff. My commission rate is is five pound on fourteen grand. Josh says he's only got four things not worth a live stream. Go for it. And Lex is offering to wet white plan. No, Ian's offering to let wet white Lex. So you've got a queue now, Lex. A queue of people who wish to wet wipe you down. It's not often that happens, is it? <laughs> How often does that happen that you get an actual queue forming? Right. Going to. Put this stuff away tidily, ha 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 ha, because there's loads of space in this room for putting stuff away tidily. I'm going to. Why are you whinging down there? Little man's whinging. What are you whinging about? Do you want to go up and see the people? Go up and see the people in the box. Oh, there you go. There we go. A little whingy, naky man. He's naked. He's got no collar on. Tell him why you're naked. Tell him why you're naked. Say, I'm naked because I'm old in shit. <laughs> so I had to have a bath. Yes. Because I am an idiot. There you go. Find your head. Oh. I don't know what, what's going on in the chat now. I missed a bit. Yeah, Spudley Dudley. Spudley IP on people's halls, Dudley. That's his new name. So, I'm going. I'm sure, I'm sure I said I was going ages ago. If you haven't hit the like button and you've liked it, hit it now. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more, hit that one too. Ring a little bell somewhere. Shake a little tush. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Woo! Get down tonight. Woo! Maybe less of that. If you want to see less of that, subscribe. And I promise never to do it again. Um, <laughs> and, oh, Anne says there are two dogs rolling in fox shit yesterday. That's, that's Spud's favourite thing, yeah. Um, so, yeah, everybody have a wonderful week. Hopefully the vlog will be coming out tonight. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, this afternoon I have to go and see if my father can drive. I might not survive that. He might actually kill us all. So um, not really looking forward to that. But yeah, um, everybody look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. Jesse says, when's the album coming out? As soon as I am approached, I will be in the recording studio. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me during the early te earlier technical difficulties, if you were here for that. Thank you for th to those of you who super chatted. Thank you for being beautiful people. Thank you for, thank you for the days, those endless days, those sacred days you gave me. I love Kirsty McCall. I'm thinking of the days. I won't forget a single day you gave me. Right, I'm going. Bye. How do I get out of here? Oh, the button that says leave studio. That must be the door. Bye.